Play action and a dump off to Price out in space. And Price is close to the first down. He's just short by a yard, so third and one coming up. He'll throw it on second down and 10. Everybody covered, and he's wrapped up and sacked. Back inside the 15-yard line by Tyree Wilson, his fifth sack of the year. So third down and 16, pressure again on Williams, escapes the pocket, looking downfield, and a one-handed catch by Hazelwood for a first down. First, it's Caleb Williams breaking the pocket, and you see Hazelwood on the deep crossing route, one hand, no problem. I'll hand it off to Brooks on second down. Oh, he gets tattooed at the 37-yard line. Here's the swing pass behind the line of scrimmage. They're trying to get Ezukama out in space. He's their best player, and he's knocked out of bounds into the Texas Tech bench by Asamoah. About having energy, enthusiasm, and having fun today. On second and one, they give it to Thompson, and he gets the first down out to the 46-yard line. Three-time captain. Play fake. And the pass is caught at the 49 of Oklahoma by Kalen Geiger. Williams changing things up here. He'll throw it. Has time. Waiting for a receiver to come free. Now he takes off. And now he throws it. Back of the end zone. It's caught. Mario Williams. Touchdown, Oklahoma. That was all Caleb Williams there. He checks at the line of scrimmage. He wanted to go to Hazelwood in the one-on-one. -on -one. It was well covered. Nobody's open down the field. And Houdini gets out of it. And then Mario Williams comes open in the corner of the end zone. True freshman. Oklahoma came into this week 112th in the country in pass defense. They're going to run Taj Brooks here. He's got some room into Oklahoma territory. And near the 40-yard line. And a late flag comes in. Oklahoma is so concerned about the quarterback keep because of last week that they're voiding areas inside tackle to tackle. Play fake, Columbia fade. Oh, what a catch! Ezukama hang on. It's a touchdown for Texas Tech. I don't know how he pulled that ball away from Jaden Davis and Delarian Turner yell. Wow, how about this pass? Strong hands bringing it in. Possessing it through the best offense in college football right now. Williams play action in trouble again and shows off that arm talent. A strike to Mims and a first down, a gain of 10 out to the 32 yard line. Only six rushing yards so far for Oklahoma. Now they have thrown it a lot and they will here. Williams puts it on the money to Mims inside the 40 yard line. Mims. Trying to get away from the defender into the end zone for the Oklahoma touchdown. Just an absolutely perfectly placed football outside for Marvin Mims. The timing on that throw as Mims was going out of his break. That ball's coming out of Caleb Williams' hands. So first down in Texas Tech territory. Play action again for Williams. And throwing deep, got a receiver. The pass is on target again to Mario Williams. Well, it's been the Mario Williams show here so far. Good protection by the offensive line. And Caleb Williams finds his target. Eighth play of the drive. This one started at the nine. They already have a touchdown drive where they began at the five. Williams in trouble, gets out of there again, throwing on the run, and it's caught for a touchdown by Brandon Willis. Excuse me, Braden Willis. But my, oh my, Caleb Williams continues to entertain. The Bulldogs just scored. Kevin and Boog will have the highlights of that coming up. Meanwhile, second down and five for Caleb Williams, and a diving catch for a touchdown by Drake Stoops. Well, I asked this week, Lincoln Riley about his redshirt junior wide receiver, Drake Stoops, he said, trust. He's earned the trust of his team. He's earned the trust of his staff. And sure-handed wide receiver, outstanding job adjusting to that pass thrown behind him. Third down at 15 from the 36 of Texas Tech. Williams gets hit as he throws, and it's nearly intercepted 
by Jeffers. Continue to work his hands right there on Andrew Raym. Splits that double as Hayes tries to come over. And... Boy, that's impressive. Right down the middle. Would have been good from another 8 to 10 yards. And it's 31-7. Smith, it's tipped and it's intercepted. Off the hands of a receiver and picked off by the Sooners. Which looks like it's about to go to 17. They lead 31-7. Play action here. Williams setting up, going downtown. Mims is there. Touchdown, Oklahoma. For Caleb Williams. Hard play action pass. It freezes that center safety, Monroe. And the deep post starting to come down the stretch and get really, really strong. But that's one of those football teams that you better be prepared to score 40, and they're going to have to help you. Donovan Smith with a strike to Ezekama. Donovan Smith on second and three, just going to hand it off here. And no running room for Brooks. He'll lose a couple. And this is what we thought going into the year. We also thought Spencer Rattler would be the quarterback, but the way that they're playing on offense, if their defense keeps doing this, as Donovan Smith is in trouble right on cue here, throws it into the end zone, it's caught for a touchdown. Wow. Sparkman goes up high to pull it in for six. Well, there's going to be pressure come right here. Brian Osamoa comes pretty much scot-free right through the A-gap. You see Donovan Smith moving to his left. Knows he's got a size advantage with his big wide receiver. Just puts the ball up. Louse has got to go make a play. Strong hands to secure that touchdown catch. Matt Wells fired on Monday. Despite his team being 5-3. and three. Here's a dump off pass to Jeremiah Hall for a first down. So let's dive a little bit deeper because we didn't touch on it earlier. It's a terrible trend we're seeing in college football. It's terrible. It's disturbing. You, you hear you preach all the time about team, team, team. Players don't quit. Don't give up on a season. Don't give up on your team. And, and what's happened here at Texas Tech? When they're five and three, in my opinion, way too early. It's already a difficult enough profession. And, you know, listen, this is a, a program in Texas Tech. Imagine being Matt Wells. There's Mario Williams inside the 25. Go ahead and finish your point time. Just imagine being Matt Wells. You, you're at the helm for three years, and each of the three years. Four minutes gone by here in the fourth, trying to add to a 24-point lead. Gets it 9-0 in the season. Williams in trouble here. Eludes pressure again. Throws a strike for a touchdown to Stogner. Six touchdown passes now for Caleb Williams. They have made, especially that man, Caleb Williams. He finds his big tight end in the back of the end zone. Smith, arm hit. And it's recovered by Isaiah Thomas. He forces a fumble, and he recovers it. Let's watch him here. Earlier, he's been working from the inside as a D tackle. Now he's out as a wide five technique. Good hands, and he gets that ball out. And turning the group that we've accustomed to see under Bill Biedenboe. Rattler throwing a deep ball here. Got single coverage downfield. And it's caught by Darby for a touchdown. Well, it always starts with protection. And it was an outstanding job. Defense. That penalty is declined. Outstanding job, as you'll see right here. Plenty of time to survey the field, step into that throw. And how about the effort by Darby? Ball, a little bit underthrown. You've got the defensive back, Malik Dunlap, draped up. So first down and goal. Into the end zone is White for the touchdown. Rushing for Xavier White, the former walk-on. This is really close. Xavier White leans forward. Right there at the front of the goal line. Jordan Kelly makes that tackle, kind of tackles him forward. That's why he was extending for the front of the goal line. I don't know. I, yeah. I think I... Lincoln Riley will go offer words of encouragement to his close friend, Sonny Cumbie. They're at Texas Tech together. Lincoln knows how difficult the challenge is ahead.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.